Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I big gut punch fast? All right. Let's go. By name. Uh, quick, fast, fast. Gut punch. And five Bronson. One, two, three, four, five. And one Flanagan Marine. And we'll give him two of those. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, five. One of those. And two of those. Mix. Ah, oh, fuck. It's got to be age. God damn it. Okay. Uh -huh. Five. Flanagan Marine. And. Aged. And then one, two, three, four, five. One. One, two. Mix. Gut punch. Serve it here. Hmm. You can actually do it then. <laughs> this crack house is a bar. Hellhole. Crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come in or a little crack house at all, mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says, sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDougal. Ingram? Sorry about the smell, we're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend, but it's Tuesday. Please let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple of hours? Yes. No? Okay, sorry, no. Then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Such pleasant clientele tonight. May I ask you why you decided to come to our bar then? Somebody recommended this place and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all I start and and, and, and all and I'm starting to doubt her taste. A regular? Can I ask who? No. I'll concede one thing, whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. That's me, dipshit. Hey Joe, where did you put the dish soap? Gills run out. Below the sink, where it's always been. Right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide to the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No, nothing. Uh, it's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off mall rioters all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. That's an achievement and a title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've had an interest change, interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax though, I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One of all class 5 weaponry and the other one a pickup artist and the latest had an alpaca. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but there's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming she was an alpaca. <laughs> she started spitting on everything and afterwards my boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's just leave it to that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? There's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. Let's pile drive this motherfucker. And then I think we're gonna call the episode right there. So we need three Bronsons, Flannery Green, Car Carmatrine, and it's all mixed. So one, two, three. Flannery Green, Dee Three. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three, four. Mix. Pile driver. Here. Mm -hmm. It's fine, I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I asked if you've ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually, but for that moment you lie, that that lie can give you give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. 
Does that mean you've really faked orgasms? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. Oh, hey, just because my shirt says slut doesn't mean I am one. Still, that's quite the brand of plot to suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really, I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this Krakos. Of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Alrighty. Don't think you're drinking a bit quickly. That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. So we'll do one more. Uh, but I think this time... Holy shit balls, low the nine karma train. Let's get this guy right fucked. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ready? Let's double it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it's all aged and mixed. There you go, buddy. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey, lady. You ever felt empty? Empty how? Like hungry? No, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. Can't say I particularly have. I just feel like this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you ever tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternative. Which is... Bitches and alcohol. <laughs> oh god. Alright guys, we're going to end it on that episode. You can't get any better than that. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Uh, let's just... Oops. What the fuck just happened there? I tried sex tourism once. Oh, so this is like... Uh, let me go backwards. Okay. Uh, bloody Russian without an STD, so I left midway through. Burned my Christmas bonus, hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. I've always hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day, three years in a row now. Nothing seems to do it. Uh, have you tried rescuing a puppy? No. You can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. <laughs> I'm drawing a blight. Can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me or to believe me. I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. This smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Alright, guys. That's where I'm going to end it. Fucking puppies, bitches, and alcohol, porn, and hookers. Wow. Can't get much better than that. Hope you guys are enjoying this. If you already know what to do. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care.